Bang Bang Chicken, beautifully seasoned and dredged chicken bites covered with a sweet and spicy mayo sauce. Believe me, these are the ultimate irresistible bites that will please your friends and family. So let me show you how to make these. First off, we're going to begin by slicing some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and I've got about three of them here. Then cut them again into bite-sized chunks, and you know, the size really depends on you, but this is about perfect right here. Throw them into a good-sized bowl, then crack an egg in. Season them up with a bit of salt, I'd say about a teaspoon. Of course, some ground black pepper, one of my all-time favorite seasonings, and you can be as creative as you want, you know, use extra seasoning, whatever you like on this. Then I'm just going to use my hands, wearing my fancy blue gloves again, and mix this all up until everything is well combined and that egg, salt and pepper completely coats the chicken. Then we are going to begin our dredging station with about a cup of breadcrumbs, and if you have panko, use those, they are the best. Followed by a quarter cup of flour. You can also use cornstarch, which might be a little better. Then that wonderful seasoning, starting with a teaspoon of onion powder, another teaspoon of garlic powder, some smoked paprika, about a teaspoon. Salt, you guessed it, about a teaspoon. I'm trying not to repeat myself. And last but not least, some ground black peppy air, and yes, another TSP. Grab up your whisk and just whisk away until everything comes together nicely. And you know, call me crazy, but there is a little bit of aroma from that seasoning coming through now. Alrighty then, we are going to grab up a piece of that chicken and simply dredge it in that mixture, just making sure it is completely covered. Now, I usually do this in batches, but I'm doing it one by one just to show everybody. Then, of course, just slip our chicken onto a plate. Okay, it is time for that sauce I was talking about in the beginning of the video, beginning with half a cup of mayo. And as always, I'm using Hellman's, but you can use the mayo of your choice. A good tablespoon of sriracha. I always like saying that word. A couple of tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. Of course, vary these amounts depending on how sweet and spicy you really want it. And lastly, a good hit of honey from my honey farm. Well, I really don't have a honey farm, but I'd say about two teaspoons or three. As always, and once again, a mixing we will go until that sauce comes together. And you are going to get a nice, beautiful kind of orangish, that's kind of hard to say, sauce. And this looks incredible, and of course, give it a taste depending on, you know, what you want. If you want to add a little more sriracha, go ahead, or a little more mayo, or even a little more honey. Okay, I'm going to add some oil to my frying device, and I'm using vegetable oil here, but you know, you can use peanut oil, canola oil, whatever you like. And after that oil's in there, you're going to heat this up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. And if you don't have a thermometer, just drop some flour in. If it sizzles, it's ready. In with the chicken, and we're going to fry this up in batches, you know, depending on how big your frying device is. In my case, I'm getting about 10 or 12 pieces in there, and it's not too, too crowded. So that's about perfect. And we are going to fry this up, of course, turning occasionally for a few minutes until it is a beautiful golden brown. And I don't know, to me there is just something about deep frying that is very satisfying. Maybe I'm just weird. After our chicken is done, I'm just going to remove it using my fancy dancy kind of spoon thing here. And set it aside on a wire rack just to drain any of that excess oil. But I mean, anyway, to me, this chicken looks just fantastic, guys. Of course, once that oil is drained off, we are going to snag this up and simply put it into a bowl. Then and only then you're going to drizzle that ever so delicious sauce over top of that chicken. <laughs> oh, isn't this looking incredible, my friends? Wow, wow, wow is all I can say. And to add even more to the wow factor, I'm going to garnish this up and make it all pretty with some chopped up green onions. You can also use parsley or cilantro. And there it be, guys, our bang, bang chicken. I even like saying the word so simple, so easy, so delicious, and such a crowd pleaser. And you bite into this, it is absolutely incredible. I mean, that chicken is seasoned well, but that sauce is just out of this world. It's a little bit on the crunchy side, not terribly crunchy, but not too bad. But it is just simply delicious, a must, must make. So if you like what you saw, do give us a like because it does help us out. And of course, if you're so inclined, subscribe.